Earth breathes carbon. With every breath, its oceans, forests and wildlife absorb carbon from the atmosphere. Animals are the missing link between biodiversity and the climate, and they've been neglected. Like an enormous sponge, forests and the oceans soak up vast amount of carbon. You may think vegetation is the king of carbon inhalation, but it's not quite so simple. The exchange of carbon is dynamic, flowing effortlessly across the web of life. An intimate relationship exists between carbon and biodiversity. All animals are climate heroes. Take, for example, the gnu. The gnu, otherwise known as the wildebeest, over a million of them used to roam the Great Serengeti, trampling and grazing the grassland, returning carbon-rich plant matter to the soil. Until one day, people introduced cattle. These farm animals introduced disease that wiped out 75% of the wildebeest population. The after-effects were catastrophic. The once grazed grass now grew tall and wild, inviting fires that tore through the landscape, ravaging 80% of the ecosystem and creating a large source of CO2 emissions every year. Through years of conservation work, wildebeest have returned. The relationship has been restored and the Serengeti is now a carbon sink. It absorbs more carbon than it releases, enough to offset emissions in both Kenya and Tanzania. A thousand miles away, in cool ocean waters, a whale cruises through the light zone. Like other whales, she excretes valuable nutrients at the surface before diving down to feed. The phytoplankton benefits from her waste, using it to photosynthesize and absorb carbon. When these tiny creatures die, they sink to the ocean floor, safely storing the carbon. If we help replenish whale population, they could take up 450 million tons of carbon. That's equal to the annual emissions of more than entire Africa. Animate means bring to life. Rewilding reanimates the carbon cycle. It's a solution that works with nature to decrease carbon levels and regulate the climate. Our survival depends on the survival of wild animals, a fact indigenous communities have known for millennia and the reason why they are key partners in the effort to rewild the natural world. We must work with nature to solve the crisis we face. Nature is our ally. It's time to rewild. It's time to animate.